This factory produces about 25 tons of meat every day. It produces more than 200 products from sausages and frankfurters to various meat delicacies. It all looks a bit scary, of course, but natural. And it's clear that sausage is made of real meat and not some soy powder or anything else. To learn about sausage ingredients, Misha Maslov chose the well-liked doctor sausage. The plant technologist Vladimir Timshenko will help him. First of all, it's necessary to choose the right meat. Vladimir Leonidovich, I see that you have a lot of tanks with various meat, right? I see it's different. Here we have semi-fat and fat. That's for thick wieners and frankfurters. Here you see servalot sausage. And here's Boston Bot Roast. What can we use it for? For a barbecue. Well, and what meat shall we use to make doctor sausage? Look, we'll take lean pork. This one. We'll take half fat pork and superior quality beef. Well, we need eggs to produce sausage, right? Mm -hmm. They need to be prepared. Well, usual water and usual eggs. So it's usual water first? Yes, we washed them there. Look, yes. Now we apply soda solution to wash away microorganisms so that they don't stay there. Is there some special kind of technology? Or is it done the same way we do it in our kitchen? Well, you must understand that. If you want to make fried eggs, you need to crack the eggs. Are these eggs used to make any sausage or some specific kind of sausage? Well, frankfurters, uh -huh. thick wieners, doctor, boiled sausage as well, semi-smoked, cooked smoked, uncooked, are made without eggs. Why is the egg necessary? To give some properties or taste or what? First of all, taste. Our presenter turned out to be quite good at cracking eggs, but he's behind the plant workers in speed. Qualified workers crack up to 18,000 eggs per shift. That's about 50 eggs per minute. To understand why sodium nitrate is added to meat products and why this additive is so popular with meat producers, we decided to carry out an experiment. We're going to make sausage. One will contain sodium nitrite, and the other won't. All ingredients are sputtered into the meat cutter, used for meat chopping. Inside it, there are sharp blades which rotate at the speed of 5,000 revolutions per minute. To put this in perspective, airplane turbine blades rotate at the speed of 7,000 revolutions per minute. In order that the minced meat doesn't overheat as a result of such high speed, they add ice to it instead of water. Yes, yes. Look, you'll see that the water and the color of meat are changing. Yes, yes, yes. It's chopped for a quick lula kebab. But it looks like paste, transforming into paste. Like that, yes. It will be like sour cream. You'll see. We've already added the flavoring. This experiment is without sodium nitrite. Looks red on the whole yet. Yes, when, when it's ready, you'll see something interesting ahead. The sausage mixture is chopped in the meat cutter for 10 minutes. After that, it acquires the necessary consistency. Well, okay, have a look. 10 minutes have passed. Uh-huh. We open the lid and see the sour cream I promised to you, right? I don't know, really. It reminds me this, you know, something like caviar spread. Everything is according to the color. Everything's okay. Now the operator is taking it out, and you and I are conducting the next experiment, and add sodium nitrite. We add the same ingredient to the next mixing, and E250 sodium nitrate. And the eggs? Yes, what we've prepared. Yes. We haven't milked a cow, but the eggs we have. Great. Close the lid and chop it again. Vladimir Leonidovich, am I right that we've got two types of minced meat ready? Yes. So far, I think the one in which we didn't add this sodium nitrate looks better. Sodium nitrate, right? 
You're right. Okay, let's go to sausage molding to mold our sausage. Okay. I'm coming. You go first, I'll follow you. Well, our experimental mixtures for Dr. Sausage with and without sodium nitrate are ready for molding. Well, okay. We go on with the experiment. Yes, yes. Take out experiment number one uh -huh. without sodium nitrite in this machine, which is called sausage stuffer. Ah, uh, you mean you take it out of the tank, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Look here. You see charging into cellulose casing. Right. We turn it over. There is a clip there, so we're making natural, classical doctor sausage in cellulose casing. First, without nitrates. Without nitrites. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Dr. Sausage mixture is stuffed into cellulose casing. Each bologna weighs two kilos. We're almost at the end of the experiment. Before we learn the differences between the two sausages, we need to boil them. Well, it's finally warm. That's the end of our experiment. Uh-huh. This room is called cooking room. Here we cook, boil, and cool. You and me, we have two samples, right? Uh-huh. With nitride as well, and the thermal processes, they will be similar for both. We'll wait for about three hours and a half to get the result of our experiment. Oh, you mean that in three and a half hours, we'll finally learn which one is tastier and more beautiful looking? Yes, sure. So, shall we put it here? That's it, put it here. Let's go. That's it. Close it. Close it and wait. We're back in the cooking room. As the sausage is not ready yet, the presenter decides to check other chambers. In these big chambers, all heating takes place. Frying, smoking, boiling, everything. They told me in confidence that in this chamber, they have ready sausages, which I can even taste. Wow. The freshest sausages. Hot as patties. Frankfurters and Dr. Sausage are boiled meat products. Other products require different ways of heating, including smoking. Some manufacturers use additives instead of ovens, the so-called liquid smoke. Products of smokeless smoking, as a rule, main treatment with the use of smoke flavorings consist of carboxylic acid and phenolic components which are responsible for taste and smell of smoking. Our experiment has come to an end. Misha Maslov is holding two sausages in his hands, one with sodium nitrate and the other without it. How this additive influences the properties of the product, our presenter decided to find out with the help of an expert of a science research institute. Hello, Victoria. I haven't come to you empty-handed. Good afternoon. What do you have here? Look, I have two sausages, one with nitrate and the other without it. Can we compare them somehow? We can compare them in terms of... We can carry out organoleptic estimation. A taste test, fine. And the bread? Maybe we need tea. I'm just not used to eating sausage this way. Taste tests are carried out without bread. Uh-huh. Mikhail, let's estimate what the product looks like when it's cut. Well, here, I guess everything is clearly seen. Yes, it's uniform, nice, rosy. And the other one? Well, it's even. Its color is unevenly distributed along the cut. Not only is the color unevenly distributed, it is of disgusting gray color. The other one. First of all, we estimate the smell of the product mm -hmm. before we pass to its color. Well, it smells like sausage. Well, smells of boiled raw meat with flavors. Can you smell it? 
Well, yeah, I simply said sausage. Well, okay, well, fine. If it smells boiled raw meat with flavors, let it be. Finally, the most long-awaited part, the taste test. First goes the sausage without sodium nitrate. Well, what can we say about it? The sample has relevant consistency traditional for boiled sausage products. Uh -huh. As for the taste, it has, it has meat taste and I can feel the smell of flavors added in the course of production. Nothing unwanted is seen here. Well, at least can be seen here. Well, yes, apart from the color, like regular taste, same sausage. Now we take the sample with sodium nitrate. Don't you think it has more harmonious and better developed taste, unlike the first sample? Well, in fact, I think the first sample and the second sample are absolutely similar. Maybe I have never thought of sausage in this respect, but for me, they're identical. Well, Misha Maslov and the expert are of dissenting opinions regarding the taste and smell of sausage. As for the way it looks, they totally agree. Well, if they were lying like that on the counter next to each other, we would probably choose the sample with nitrate. It looks nice and rosy.